Hey y'all, in today's video I'm going to be showing you the inside of this portable jam Bluetooth speaker. I'm first going to pop this upper screen off, just a basic screwdriver. Prop it underneath it, and pop it out like that, and it should pop right off the basic screen. Okay. Once that's done, we can turn it around and see if there's any screws I can remove. So remove this lower plate. Uh, I'm going to peel off this rubber uh, cushion and hopefully underneath this will be some screws. I'm just going to peel it right off. Alright. Wow. It's a lot of glue. Okay. And you see we have four screws. We have one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna get my screwdriver and try and move these four screws. Okay. That should pop right off like that. Wow. That's pretty easy. As you see, at first we have this board and this pretty big battery. It's a 528 milliamp battery, 3.7 volt. Wow, pretty nice. Pretty cool. And as you see here, we have where the volume control buttons are. We have the volume and uh, pause and play button. We see how it's connected to the board itself. And we have these three push button switches, which is pretty cool how that works. And, and as you hear here, we have these two LEDs, one here and one here. This is for the battery. And then this one's to tell you um, when your Bluetooth device is connected. So I'm going to pull this cord out like that. Okay, and now the bottom plate is fully detached from the rest of the speaker. You see we have the power button on the bottom. And um, eventually we'll take this off too. And we can see how the push button, the power button on the bottom is uh, connected to the board as well. Just pull that aside. Um, now we're going to take a look at the battery. And we're now going to remove it. So I'm just going to pull on it. Lightly, and it should detach. All right, that's pretty easy. Put to the side. Pretty light battery. I mean, I had the speaker for at least two, two to three years, so I'm very happy with the performance out of that battery. So now, you're looking at the upper part of the speaker. We have these four additional screws, and let's just remove those. Okay, now we have those four screws loosened. I'm going to pull on this upper plate. I should just pop right off. I'm going to wedge my screwdriver. Okay, now that is loose, this cord can come right through. So now you see that big speaker now on the upper part of the device, and you can see how big it is. Um, pretty big for a small device like this. If it was working, I would show you a, a sample um, sound clip of how these the speaker performs. It's got a lot of bass, um, and it's fairly clear. So now I'm going to pry. Um, this upper trim piece so I can remove the speaker from the device. Okay. 
Okay, now we have those four clips broken off. The speaker should just drop right out. Like that. And now we have the actual speaker itself. You see, pretty big magnet. It's pretty strong. It tracks on my screwdriver and other parts of this. Uh, very magnetic. It still feels pretty good. I'm, I have a feeling that this speaker is actually in good shape, and just the device itself actually broke. Something in this board malfunctioned or something like that. So now I'm gonna re remove the board from the uh, lower plate, and we have three additional screws on the bottom. And now this should pop right off. Oh, and you see here, we have that power button in the bottom we were seeing. That's the push button for that. It's pretty cool that this actual, the button itself, the rubber piece that you see in the outside, is pretty big compared to the actual push button switch. And they actually put a piece of um, rubber across these three push buttons, I guess, to have a better feel. And then we have here we have the uh, DC charging port and these two um, plugs here are the uh, plug into the actual speaker itself.